And that surge in COVID cases has led President Trump to cancel the Republican National Convention in Jacksonville, as we reported yesterday. Now, from the beginning, Jacksonville Mayor Lenny Curry had vied to bring it here after North Carolina decided it did not want that big of a convention in its state. Now, since this big news broke yesterday, we've not heard much from Mayor Curry. However, he did make an appearance this afternoon on Fox News. We were hearing the delegates were excited. Up until a few days ago, there were still uh, major events planned all over the city, uh, expected people to be there, uh, all with safety protocols in place, testing. We have a mask mandate in Jacksonville. We were all doing the right thing, and we're going to do this in a safe way. Uh, but we said we'd monitor this in the weeks leading up to it, and the uh, president made the right decision with the information we were communicating to, to him and his team. So among those celebrating the cancellation of the RNC in Jacksonville are the residents and the merchants who stu sued to try and stop it. On your sides, Ann Schindler spoke with some litigants who say they hope the president's decision really sends a message beyond the first coast. It was a relief. Ted Delegal is one of seven residents and business owners who sued to stop the Republican National Convention due to COVID-19 fears. Apparently this week, the president suddenly discovered that the coronavirus is a major issue. Delegal says their effort got a big help when Sheriff Mike Williams warned the city wasn't ready for the RNC. This current configuration I have, I cannot work with. I was proud of him. I think that uh, Sheriff Williams stepped up and, and, and it did something outside of politics, and that's somewhat rare right now. Mayor Lenny Curry, who has since removed moved his tweet promising a big, bold convention. We'll be ready. Said he agreed with the sheriff. Yes, I, I agree with him. But the ultimate decision was the president's. The timing for this event is not right. Something Delegal hopes sends a message to the country. This is real. This is a real threat. We need to all be cautious. And we all need to protect each other. Here at home, he says he is celebrating. It does feel good. And I think the whole community can breathe a, a sigh of relief. Ann Schindler, First Coast News, on your side.